Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I'm uh, putting out this oracle card reading for this week just before the new year and for uh, the first week of the new year. And we are just asking for guidance for the or for the week ahead. Although this reading is timeless and you can come back to it at any time that you feel drawn to it and actually uh, choose an option and it should be relevant to you at that moment if you feel drawn to it that is. So, but for this week, I've, I've put out another uh, video, which is Oracle Guidance for 2019. But this is just for this week, um, your weekly Oracle Guidance. Because one of the things that I've been feeling is that um, there's been a lot of uh, annoyances, some other deep emotions that have been running through this week. And I feel that you need some lightness and something that is just an easy message to help you get through all these times where there may be a, a few annoyances uh, between the festivities simply because um, the energy this year is very much not just about festivities but a, a kind of a hot and cold feeling um, it's not just happiness there's also a bit of sadness that is there so this may obviously not apply to everyone but um, having taken that in mind I've decided to choose this deck which is the answer is simple uh, Oracle deck by uh, Sonia Shaket. So I have five options here ahead of me today and we have uh, option one, two, three, four and five. Please go ahead and choose an option that resonates with you or that you feel drawn to, a uh, color that you feel drawn to and actually uh, you can go directly to your reading which you'll find the timestamp off in the description box below this video. All right so hopefully that is helps you make your decision. I'm going to go right ahead and start with the first option. So for those of you who've chosen this particular option here, the question we're asking is, what is your advice for this week here? So what is the advice that you need to hear? What, what is it that you need to know right now? What is it that you need to hear at this moment? And there's it. Oh, wow. So it says rise and shine. So what I'm hearing here is that some of you may not have been feeling as uh, excited about the festivities. One of Some of you may not really be feeling so excited about um, the new year that's coming in. And you may actually be not really interested in getting out or doing things or being part of the festivities. But the advice is, is uh, for you is to rise and try and to actually get out and do things, to actually move beyond uh, your comfort zone to extend yourself a little bit further than you would normally. And with this, you will find great wisdom and, and you will find great joy if you do this, if you give yourself the opportunity to go out. So if, if you've been wondering whether you should go out on um, on New Year's Eve or you've been wondering whether you should just, you know, whether you should go visit that person that, that's invited you, whether you should take up an invitation. Well, the answer here is go ahead and do so because it would actually be to your benefit to do so. Um, yeah, give yourself a chance to be able to move beyond these heavy energies that exist at this moment that are maybe holding you back or not um, lending you the buoyancy that you actually need in these circumstances. So that is it for those of you who've chosen this particular bottle here. For those of you who've chosen this particular uh, bottle here, the question we're asking is, what is your oracle guidance for this week ahead? And uh, this is just a quick note. This is just a quick message for you. You know, if you've been wondering what you should do, or if you've been just needing a quick dose of something, this is what this is. And we have it here, drop it, okay? So um, that kind of flew um, out. Of the deck and uh, the advice here is to drop it so just basically let it go to let it go it feels like you've been carrying a load that's not yours it feels like you've been carrying a load that you don't need to carry anymore what is it that you can drop out of your life what is it that you don't need in your life anymore that you can actually say well it's okay I don't need this anymore I can let go of this. This isn't mine to carry this isn't my concern this isn't my worry this is not anything that I need to do. Yes, perhaps I need, I have some responsibility here and I need to do certain, certain things, but I don't need it to drag me down anymore. I don't need it to bog me down anymore. I'm actually just going to let go of this and you drop it, you drop it. And if it's a grudge that you're holding, if you're upset about something that somebody's done towards you in the last week or so, just drop it. Okay. Don't hold it close to your heart. Don't, don't let it impact you. Don't let it rob you of your joy. 
uh, you don't you just don't need that. Just let it go. Simplify things in your life. And uh, yeah, just drop it outside of your life. You don't need it right now. And that was the message for those of you who've chosen this year. So for those of you who've chosen this year, the question we're asking is, what is it that you need to know? What is your advice for this week? What is it that you need to know? Oops. And I've gotten two cards that have come in here, out here. So it's invest in your spirit and it's change the scenery. So what I'm hearing here is that, you know, the way in which you invest in your spirit is by changing the scenery. All right. So the first thing I'm, I'm receiving here for you is you need to actually allow yourself to restore yourself. You need to rejuvenate. You need to do something for yourself that will make you happy. Uh, you need to actually allow the fun to come into your life. You need to let joy come into your life again it's just like you've been working too hard you've been too bogged down with serving others needs and you just need to be able to give yourself something so yes invest in your spirit you know perhaps you listen to music that you love listening to but the advice they're giving you here is to change the scenery whether that means just changing the color of your blinds or your curtains or perhaps it means uh, just rearranging the furniture around your house or uh, rearranging some pot plants in your house or maybe it actually means just going for a drive or going for a ride or going to another town just to have a cup of coffee or, uh, or, or yeah, just to have a meal or simply going out and doing something that you know will make you feel happier. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere and you, it's snowing around, you go out and build a snowman, it will be something that will add to you, that will make you happier. Make Yeah, it will make, you need to do something that you wouldn't necessarily do um, just to be able to bring joy into your life. So the advice that they're asking you, you, or the advice that they're giving to you is invest in your spirit and do so by changing the scenery. You know, maybe it means literally moving uh, around a couple of paintings in your home to make you, to make you feel better. What it is that you need is, it's like your, your soul is bored. It's like your soul needs something new to actually bring forth a different energy in you. And you're not really able to do that right now because, in fact, you just feel tired and bogged down and drawn out. And, yeah, you know, replace the old, weary self of you with something new. And, you know, don't be afraid to chuck out things that you don't need in your life right now. And change it. Change it. Bring in a new energy. Bring in a new vibe in your home. Bring in new life. And... If you can't do that in your home or you don't feel the need to change something in your home, then get out, drive somewhere, take a train, go out, change the scenery, literally go and enjoy what's outside of you. Um, because I think any movement from you will make a, a big difference. And um, you could also try to do this by, by um, if, you, if, you don't, if you don't feel like going out, you don't feel like traveling, you don't feel like changing anything in your home, you don't feel like doing anything quite physical, you can go into a meditation and uh, take yourself to another dimension in which you feel well and feel happy and there are different shapes and it's not ruled by gravity. You know, Just do something for yourself in which the scenery is, has changed and that you feel alive again. You feel revitalized. You feel rejuvenated. And um, yes, that's your advice. Invest in your spirit for those of you who've chosen this one here. So for those of you who've chosen this one here, the question we're asking is, what is our advice for the week ahead? What is our advice for the week ahead? Ah, oh, there we are. Take no offense, all right? So here's something that we are told to take no offense here. It may come to be that this week, uh, the week ahead of you, or maybe it's happened already, that somebody said something that has upset you, that's upset you, that's gone to your very core, and it's been an offense to you. And the advice that they've given you is just don't take any offense. Just don't. That person isn't really thinking about what they're saying when they're saying it. And they have no idea of how it's impacted you. Just brush it off. Okay. And that's very clear advice for you. It's basically saying just don't let it bother you. Don't let it upset you. Don't let it destabilize you. Don't let it take away your peace. Don't let it just come back to yourself. Maintain your well-being, maintain your peace, and don't get bogged down thinking about why do they do that? Why do they behave that way? How could they treat me this way? 
How could they actually do this? Don't, don't concern yourself with that. That is none of your business, okay? Your business is to take care of you and to look after you and to ensure that you feel well, regardless of how other people may treat you or others may think of you or what they may say to you. You know, people are constantly being impolite or rude or being offensive in some way or the other, and you can't be destabilized by that. You can't actually allow it to sway you. You need to stand by yourself and understand your worth and understand why you've behaved in a particular manner or why you've chosen to, to do the things that you've done and, you know, just brush it off you when somebody has been judgmental or somebody has been critical towards you. Just stand by you, be good to yourself, understand why you've done it and just do not take offense. And that is the advice for you, for those of you who've chosen um, this one here. So for those of you who've chosen this one here, so the question we ask you today is, what is the message for those of you who've chosen this one here? What is it that you need to know for the week ahead? What is it that you need to know right now for what you've experienced and for the week ahead? And there is the card. And what I'm feeling, what I'm hearing here is that it's important for you to retreat within yourself at times to be able to see what's positive and not listen to others and not hear what others have to say. Because perhaps around you, there are people who are being critical or being judgmental or have a negative point of view or have a point of view that's a bit disillusioned. And it's important for you to retain your sense of knowing, your sense of feeling and understanding the light and understanding what is good. So you may be called upon yourself to actually take an action to be positive. You may be forced into a, a space where you need to be you'll be grasping out for what is positive and for what it is that is light. Um, the way in which you could go about doing this is to be grateful. Be grateful for what it is that you have. Um, have compassion for those around you. Have compassion for the situation, for the, the situation that you find yourself in or other situations. Approach the world and pee others with compassion and be grateful for what is and that is the, the easiest way in order to see the light, to be able to see div the divine in all that you do, to be able to see the divine in others, to be able to understand the, 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 the light that is in all. Even if one may not behave in a, in a way which exhibits that light, but to be able to understand that it exists nevertheless and that you can actually touch on that. You can actually connect to that, even if somebody is being hateful or difficult with you, or not even if they, perhaps they're not being hateful or difficult, perhaps they're not even being detached, perhaps they simply are themselves uh, going on about how things are not okay in the world or what's not okay. And yes, it's okay to recognize that. It's okay to be realistic about what's okay, what's going on in the world, but not to attach yourself to that. Okay. Don't attach yourself to that. See the light. Look at what is positive in it all. Look at where the divine is manifesting in it all and understand that all is a part of this divine manifestation. Don't be bogged down with others who do not see the perfection that exists around us. Do not be put off by others and their negative perception of things. Seek the light. Look for the light in the situation and don't allow yourself to dissociate from something because it's negative. Simply look for the light within that situation. I'm hearing also that some of you may choose to do this in a meditative state, or some of you may choose to do this in a state in which you um, take yourself away from people, you remove yourself from people, and you actually just go home and you meditate and you are with yourself, and that's where you connect to the light. And that's also okay. It's okay to do that, but it's okay to bring yourself back to this whenever you need to. Okay, so that was your message for those of you who've chosen this one. And I would like to wish you all a very happy new year. And um, yes, thank you all to, who've come to this channel. Thank yeah, you. thank you to all the subscribers. And thank you very much for your support in this uh, since I've started my channel. And uh, much love to all of you and many blessings for the year ahead. So much love and blessings abound.